Hi guys, Nagraj here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new for this channel, please do subscribe. So hi guys, in this video we will see about the Java program that rewards the word in place where the given string. If you consider this example, in the interview they asked like write a program to reverse the word in place for a given string. So what it exactly it meaning is, they provide some input like in this example I have taken Java program by ProTech which. Okay. So the output, the expected output is like Java should be reversed in the same place, not like uh, uh, it should come from here. Okay. So again the program is reversed and it is placed in the same place and by also reverse and placed in the same place the, similarly protect which also reverse and it is placed in the same place not like exactly b should come first and tech should come next like java should come at end it is not the case so the string should be reversed and it is placed in the same place this is the expected output okay we will see how to do this step by step so i have written already this program here so I'll explain you uh, step by step so it will be uh, more useful for you. So first what we should do, uh, we need to create a, a class and method. So inside we need to declare the get input data. So first thing is that we need to get the input. Either you can take from the scanner class or you can directly we can declare because already in the previous video I have uh, showed how to take the data from the keyboard. So if you want to take the keyword so you can refer to those programs so it will be useful for you to uh, get idea that how to take the data from the keyboard so in this example directly I have declared that is the the first step is to get the input so you declared some uh, data here java program protect which I have declared so simply I am displaying here the next step is to declare the uh, variable this one i have declared to store the output once i reverse the string i will store term reverse variable so now the logic here is like uh, we we first you should get the number of words available in the string so we can split the those uh, string by using the split method by the space so same thing i have written here input the input data dot split into the space so what it does it is providing the three word now it returns me the string array so that i have saved here so now the string array uh, word has the value like uh, word of zero as java word of one has the program word of two has the product which so it has the data something like this so now i need to take one by one these data that's why i have declared the for loop Okay, because I need to uh, loop it for three times because I need to reverse these words in the same place, right? That's why I have taken the for loop out outer for loop. Inside the for loop, see the logic here is like so. Once we get inside this loop, so this will be something like in the first loop, the word of zero means word of zero means word of five will come, right? In this case, word of zero first loop. The so word of zero consists of Java now. So now we should concentrate only on this one. So word of now we have word of Java. So word of zero equal to Java. So now we need to reverse this string now. Okay, word of zero have the string value now. So we need to reverse it. The reversing operation should take from the right to left. So first I need to read a, then v, a, j, j. I need to read something like this. That's why I need I have declared the int inside loop like int i equal to sorry j equal to word of i length minus one why have taken length minus one here because i need to get the data because length is here one two three four the length is four but i want the index of three now so zero one two three so length minus one i'll get the index of a that's why i started with the word of i dot length of zero sorry length minus one now until the this become uh, zero, like, greater than or equal to zero. I am looping it and j minus because I am keep on reducing the count now because I need to read from the right to left. That's it. Okay. Here the logic is word of i, word of i in the sense <coughs> the word of it will get. It is pointing to this. Uh, it is pointing to this word now. Character of j, j in the sense here it is pointing to the three. 
character of three now so it is reading the a then it will saving to the reverse already i have mentioned some empty value so it is saving to the reverse value and it finally it is saving here the second loop will come and it will read v and it will place here so finally in this loop we have reverse is equal to so first it will read a first loop in the internal loop i'm talking about first will read a and it will save here then again it will read v and it will save here then it will read a then finally it will read j so finally the rve contains so here what actually it does rve contains i'm adding some space here this one here what it does saving the data now it will the now once the internal loop is done so rev has value as a avaj now i need to go to the second loop the second loop means word of one so here it has the value as program similarly same logic applies here and this will as a, a given some space here it will append with the reverse value so m because here uh, we have a well right m a r g o r p the second loop second in the loop we get so finally it will uh, add this value here so in the next loop word of two then this it will take the product with similarly this loop will work like this finally it will reverse everything and it will be finally it will save the output into the reverse keyword so same thing i have displayed here so once i get the final output i am displaying the value here so let me run this program okay this is the input data is java program product page and the output we got is something like uh, it is reversed in the same place the program it is there and product also it is the only logic here first we need to split the uh, string into the word then we need to take the loop outer loop we should take the number of the characters means word is available then the finally in, inside the loop we need to reverse the string as we have applied because this is this program is written without using the dot reverse method already we have a, a predefined method available dot reverse but without using the predefined method we have performed this operation in the interview particularly they ask like how to reverse that means reverse the string in the same places without using the uh, reverse predefined method suppose if you want to get details about how exactly this word will appear then you can put it some uh, debug point here then if you run this program with the debug uh, debug mode right so let me run in debug mode the debug as you can run the java applications then exactly you will come to know that how the word will be uh, moving each other so here we have a reverse word it is empty by initially and the input string has the some data here right some if i run uh, if i make f6 see keep on um, running now the inside loop is zero i is equal to zero j is equal to three now because i am taking the last word as i explained earlier right i am taking the last one because java zero one two three third index i want to take so it is taking the j is equal to three now now if i uh, run the internal loop earlier see now reverse got the a now so in the next loop it will take the value right similarly in the next loop the reverse value have a v a see the first word got reversed now in the in this loop now if i run again f6 see it is going outside the loop Inter inside the loop uh, got execution is done now it came to the outside loop now if i again press f6 it will go into the next loop now so outside loop it came to the outside loop now it will make the i is equal to 1 now okay in that case reverse value has a avaj now if i run f6 again see i is equal to 1 now j is equal to 6 that is because we have the second word we have a program has a six uh, seven uh, character so it is taking the next index now j takes the last index so if i keep on run this so similar way we explained so it will keep on add the see they completed the second word now it going to the next loop it is keep on adding 
the reverse as well this is how we can just cross check the how the flow will work and it will be uh, easy for you to understand the exact uh, the logic behind this program see finally it is done it is displaying the output now okay see it is displayed the output finally thanks guys thanks for watching this video if you like this video please hit like button if you please share it with your friend those who are looking for java and selenium concept and also don't forget to subscribe this channel for further video thank you